apologies for the previous video. I screwed up the audio and quite a few others were also screwed up. Let's continue. Her remote Idulo is completely delusional. She needs psychiatric help. Yeah, Exico counseling. She is an extremist minority figure and leader and all that. I am going to link to the documentary in this video, so at least you'll be able to check it out. And uh, besides that, I am also an ex, not ex QAnon. I was an ex long before QAnon faction was built. Sorry, was born. There's over 200, and at least over 50 plus factions of the fringe. It is really a dangerous cult. You don't want to be involved in it. You don't want to lose friends or family to it. Thankfully, I haven't. But a few, yes, few acquaintances I, well, mostly online, because of collaboration, have been lost to the fringe. And they have not recovered. They have been sucked in so much that they think reality isn't real. They think, you know, oh, amphibians, literally, blah, 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 for shapeshifters, shapeshifters, blah, 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 are literally running the whole world. So... And also, the other fucked up part of the fringe is that make turns you anti-Semitic. If you get the so-called globalist faction. That's horrible. Besides that, that lady is fucking dangerous. And she needs... Well, she's got to be put in her place. And I don't know if the police or anyone are going to actually kick them out of Saskatchewan in that rural town. But holding the whole town hostage... That's unacceptable. And harming people and attacking people, that's worse. Far worse. Holy shit. It's nothing compared to what's, what went down in Ottawa during the free DUMB convoy. I wasn't in Ottawa and I'm glad I wasn't. But they also passed through Toronto on the way there. They passed through many provinces, mostly Americans. Yeah, you could tell by the flags. So, uh, yeah, the QAnon faction, amongst others, is the most dangerous one because of extremist minority beliefs and turning people into extremists. Yeah, that lady needs psychiatric help. And besides what the documentary showed, I need to watch it again. Because there was lots of interruptions. That's a part of being an ex. I've been ex-fringe for about 14 years now. 14 years. I don't need to go through the story of how I escaped. It's, I started having doubts and subscribers from previous generations on YouTube because people don't like seeing videos like this sometimes and don't like seeing videos at all and being attacked by hate groups besides the fringe. That was before I got sucked in. Yeah. Sometimes they don't like seeing people at all, having their rights to an opinion, their own thoughts, freedom of choice, and all. Of, you know what I'm talking about, free speech. So, sometimes the fringe goes about attacking people that way. Uh, it's terrible. But, I persist, and I haven't. I had a brief stint on brand new tube. That's horrible. So, they actually will ban people by restricting the upload size to as small as they could possibly get it. And uh, to the point where you can't upload shit. So never use that site. It's full of shit. And it's polluted by conspiracy theorists. You know, fringe. Yeah, so that lady needs desperately needs help. They gotta get her out of that town. They gotta simply, I don't know what they're gonna do. It's an abandoned school. Turn it into housing. That's the best way to do it. You know, I know urban small is not a good thing, but still, they, they got to do something to get her out. And the threats she's issued in videos, uh, viable threats too, yeah, makes her especially dangerous. Anyways, that's my video. The previous one would have said pretty much the same thing, maybe more. I cannot recall because I did not write nothing down. And I really wished I had the audio turned on and not a phantom device, which wasn't plugged in. So, yeah. Let's hope something comes to that. Because there's been no updates to the uh, articles on WCTV's W5 about that. 
So, I don't know if that lady extremist actually has actually left the town. So, if anyone who is actually in Saskatchewan can uh, double check and verify that she's actually left, that's great. But I don't have the means to travel out there to verify it myself. So, okay, well, that's about all. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and me going through all the trouble getting it made because it's a pain in the ass when things go wrong. So, yep. Peace. Find your way out if you can. Best of luck with the escape and the counseling that follows because it did me good. And uh, have a great day.